Now the first step is to go to this location. So open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Program Data. If you don't see Program Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open Program Data folder. Now find the game folder over here. You can see this. Now you can make a right click and then you can delete it. Once deleted, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. NVIDIA GP users, you can open the config file and make these changes. Now for this, you can go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder, open the local folder. And over here, you can see the game folder, open this folder, open save folder, open config folder, open WinGDK folder. Now find game user settings, make a double click, open this. Now once you open this, find upscale mode so you can just type in upscale over here in the search and find uh, upscale mode so here you can see upscale mode if this is set to dlss underscore quality you can type in over here nvidia nvidia underscore nis over here and then set you can try nvidia nis and then you can go to file click on save and then once you save it then you can go back and then make a right click on game user settings over here and then go to properties you can set this to read only and then hit apply click on ok and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click go to properties uncheck this read only hit apply click on ok make a double click on game user settings again find upscale so if NVIDIA NIS does not work, you can type in none over here. So try none over here and then click on file, then save. And then you can again put a check on read only and then you can check. If that does not work, you can even upscale made mode modified, set it to true. So upscale mode modified. In my case, it is already true. Again, click on file over here, save it and then Again, make a right click over here, properties, put a check on read only, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, disable ray tracing. Now for this, you can go to the config file once again, make a right click, go to properties, uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK, and then make a double click, find ray tracing over here. So in my case here you can see ray tracing shadows is already set to false enable ray tracing reflection is already set to false enable ray tracing ao is again set to false so you can just set everything to false over here and ray tracing is set to zero ray tracing quality is zero 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 so and here you can see enable ray tracing make sure all these are set to false and then you have to click on file and then save it and then again make a right click on game users go to properties put a check on read only hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder now when you rename or delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so go to the same location and then make a right click and then you can rename it or you can even delete it and then once you, once this is done now relaunch the game and then check still not working enable unicode utf8 for worldwide language support and then restart your computer now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to clock and region and then go to region over here click on it and go to administrative click on change system local if this is unchecked put a check on use unicode utf8 for worldwide language support click on ok and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to if able to launch the game you can try window mode if you are not able to launch the game you can skip the, skip this step if you are able to launch the game you can try window mode you can press alt plus enter as soon as you launch the game or you can go to game settings and select window mode now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder so if you have the game on like you have the game on Xbox app, so you can select the game, click on three dots, manage, 
and then go to files and then click on browse over here this will take you now over here you can see the game folder open the game folder open the content folder and over here uh, you can see this game launcher helper make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator click on yes and then you can check let me close the game for now and open phoenix when now over here also yes you see the exe file but i don't think you will be able to run the game from here so use the game launcher helper only to launch the game make a right click run as administrator still not working the next step is to game uh, run gaming services repair tool now for this go to xbox app click on the profile icon click on uh, support option over here and then click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow now this process will take some time so let it complete now once done you can close this and then relaunch the game and then check if you face any problem uh, running gaming services repair tool you can even run gaming services repair tool from the microsoft website so you can search in google and then you can go to the xbox support which says gaming services repair tool this will take you to the official microsoft website and on this page you will see downloadable version click on it and then scroll down and then click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this will again take some time and once you see completed successfully like this now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page uh, whichever is the latest geforce game read driver you will see at the top and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you run this exe file run this exe file when you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here select custom and then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add microsoft store app and you will find the game in the list so once you find the game click on the game and once the game is added over here scroll down find the game click on the game and then set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select the graphic card and operating system scroll down on this page and then click on view more options you can try 581.29 maybe 581.15 maybe just try to roll back to the older versions and when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and then restart your computer and then check next step is to repair and verify the game files now for this you can go to xbox app and then click on these three dots once again and then click on manage go to files and then click on verify and repair click on yes and let the repair complete once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch the game using desktop shortcut now for this you can go to xbox app and then again you have to click on these three dots over here right now it's repairing let it complete yeah now click on these three dots and then click on manage and then click on create desktop shortcut under general tab create desktop shortcut and then you can go to desktop here you can see the game shortcut make a, uh, you can just make a right click and then open sorry you can just make a double click and then try to launch the game using the desktop shortcut and then check still not working the next step is to repair or reset the game now for this uh, you can open windows settings go to apps and then go to install apps and then find the game in the list Now, once you find the game, uh, click on these three dots, go to advanced option, scroll down. First of all, click on terminate over here and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, click on reset, reset, 
and once the reset is done close Xbox app and then relaunch Xbox app and then you can go to select the game and then you can launch the game from here and then you can check let me close it now still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files 2015 to 22 you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the files and run both the exe file click on click on the exe file click on repair if you see repair option if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Once both the files are installed, make sure both are installed. Then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to uh, hardware and sound and then go to power options. In your case, if you see power saver like this, select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working enable disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on advanced graphics settings over here hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, if this is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have uh, like like any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected if you have this uh, any external keyboard or mouse connected like key crown keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard or mouse you can disconnect it unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter Sometimes we have extra controller connected. Disconnect extra controller. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it. Close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, you can first of all go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Go to Nvidia app settings, turn off Nvidia overlay. And then close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have overclocked your computer, do not overclock you can set the overclocking to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after msi after burner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application you are running close it if you have any kind of online storage apps like onedrive google drive then you can close it if you are using onedrive make sure that you are logged in perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check, check over here first and then click on disable all and then hit, hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then check if you have underworked your computer remove the underworld and then relaunch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok 
okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next is to install updates in microsoft store so open microsoft store at the bottom left here you will see the download option click on download and then you can click on check for update and if you see update all option update everything and then relaunch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run this powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any kind of errors like this in red color just ignore it and let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything red this will install the windows default apps so once this is complete everything is red now you can relaunch the game you can even restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check next step is to install xbox identity provider so open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description click on download over here and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store if not install you will see install button or get option in my case it is already installed so install it and then still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command the command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure run powershell as an administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here and then hit the enter key paste it hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will take you to microsoft store and over here you will see the download option or maybe install option so install gaming services over here so make sure that you hit install over here and let the download complete make sure the installation is complete once this is 100 percent done then you have to reopen microsoft uh, xbox app so once done here you can see almost done install now close even if you go to xbox app you will see a retry option or something like that so close xbox app because we have uninstalled gaming services that's why so you can completely close xbox app and then try to relaunch it and then you can try to launch the game once again and then check next step is to now we have already done this update bios next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now for this you can go to xbox app and then you can click on the profile icon and then go to settings option and then go to install option now if uh, the game is installed to c drive so if you have any other drive you can select any other drive first of all you have to uninstall the game if you, you, you will see uninstall option uninstall it then you can go to install option and then you can select different drive over here and try to install the game to different drive if the game is already installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive then in that case you can select c drive over here and try to install the game to c drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch this game successfully on your windows computer and run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel